All right, so today I wanna make some instant pumpkin spice latte. However, this general technique applies to any type of coffee, if PSLs really aren't your jam. The instant PSL powder I ended up with was freaking amazing, and I intend to use this not only to make PSLs after pumpkin season is over, but also to, to use to incorporate into ice cream and other fun stuff like that throughout the year. Now this video, I really have to say, was thanks to Harvest Right, who was nice enough to send me a freeze dryer to experiment with. And honestly, this video may be a reason to get one. However, even if you can't get one, no worries. This is still gonna be a fun journey. Plus you'll learn how to make a pumpkin spice latte from scratch. All right, speaking of pumpkin spice lattes from scratch, the first thing we're gonna need is some pumpkin. Now the first time I made this, I was feeling a little bit extra and decided to roast my own pie pumpkin. Now to roast a pumpkin, all you need to do is cut off the top, cut it in half, scoop out the interior, getting all the seedy gook out, and place the two halves of the pie pumpkin on a tray, and then stick that tray into a 350 degree Fahrenheit or 176 degree oven for one hour. Now one hour later, we pull our little toasty pumps out and let them cool down completely. And once they have cooled, we can just kind of scoop the flesh into a bowl. Now to be frank, people make a big deal out of making anything from pumpkin from scratch and insist that using a can is somehow a terrible crime against humanity. I think you can safely ignore those people. It is fun to roast your own pumpkin, especially because it will give you a more kind of like vegetable pumpkin flavor, which I really love, but it's not quote unquote better. You know, people are busy and finding the right pumpkin can be difficult, especially if you're living in a different part of the world. So you shouldn't feel ashamed for using a can. That being said, after my first batch failed so miserably, I did use a can. So if you want to go down that route, you'll just need one can of pumpkin, which we'll set off to the side for right now. All right, so now we have the P in our PSL. Now we need to make the S. Now for this part, you can use a pre-made spice mix, but I like to make my own from scratch so that I can add stuff like pepper and allspice to give it that extra spicy punch. However, if you can't, no shade, you do you. All right, so for my pumpkin spice mix, I just used one two to three inch long stick of cinnamon, uh, two to three peppercorns, two to three cloves, some ground ginger, and some nutmeg and you're just gonna give this a whir in your spice grinder, and that's basically it. So now we have the S in our PSL. Now lastly, we need the L. Now L is the latte, so that means milk and espresso. So for the batch that I'm gonna be making, it's gonna produce four servings of PSL. And so for that, I need four double shots, or in other words, eight shots of espresso. Now, if you don't like espresso or you don't have an espresso machine, no worries. Using strong coffee instead will give you a slightly different thing, but it'll still taste good. And heck, I can even imagine using a strong black tea might be pretty good. All right, so I ran my espresso maker four times, and once I collected about eight shots, go ahead and add two tablespoons of granulated sugar to give it a mix, but you can also tune this at the end if you want to. All right, now we have everything to make the base of our PSL. So for that, mix one half a cup or about 115 grams of the pumpkin. I'm just showing the canned pumpkin attempt since it looked a little nicer on film. Add the espresso and two teaspoons of the pumpkin spice mixture. And then to that, we're gonna add one quart or one liter of milk. Mix it all up with the whisk and that's basically our PSL. Now we're just gonna set this off to the side cause we're ready for freeze drying. So we need to prepare everything for that. So to freeze dry our PSLs, all we really have to do is just pour them into a tray and place them into the freeze dryer. Now I wanted to compare the instant PSL I made with the Starbucks version. So I just bought a few of those and I'm also just gonna freeze dry some of the Starbucks versions to compare against. So just all we need to do is pour the liquid directly into the trays. And about halfway through pouring, I realized there's kind of a smarter, less messy way to load these trays, which is to partially load them into the freeze dryer and then just pour the liquid directly into the trays. I also found out from a viewer and from the manufacturer that apparently my tray holders are completely upside down. Thankfully that it didn't seem to affect things too badly, but I will definitely turn these around for the next video. All right, Harvest Right literally could not have made this easier for freeze drying. All we need to do is close up this chamber and press go. And 24 hours later, I had this. Now, as I said, the first batch I made, I kind of had some issues, uh, which were totally my fault, but the second time turned out really freaking awesome. And you can see here, that the trays have turned into complete powder. And now it's just a matter of crushing this up to make them easy to dissolve in a liquid. Now working in batches, I crushed up the powder using a food processor. I made sure not to cross contaminate between the batches that are mine and the Starbucks version, because I really wanted to know if I could taste the difference. All right, so now we have our powder, that's basically it. It's now the moment of truth, which is to actually make a pumpkin spice latte. Now you can definitely use water, but I actually heated up some milk to dissolve the PSL powder into. Using a really hot milk really bolstered the creaminess, and both of them were far more creamy and rich than you would find at Starbucks. All right, so now, how does the homemade version compare to the Starbucks? Well, to be honest, there isn't much of a difference. Maybe the version I made is a little bit spicier, but that's probably because of the other stuff that I added. But honestly, I really couldn't tell a difference. 
Maybe mine had a little more of that homemade kind of taste, but the major differences really just came down to color. So if you wanna just freeze dry some Starbucks PSLs to have throughout the year, this will work really well. All right, now we need to find a way to store this and we can either store this in an airtight jar or use a Mylar bag. If you do go down the Mylar bag route, make sure you label it so that you can see what's in there a year from now and it's not just a mystery bag. Go ahead and toss in some oxygen absorbers and seal it up. And this should last a while. So now, why did I add an oxygen absorber and why is that important? Well, moisture and oxidation are really two things that can turn food bad. Now the freeze dryer removes the water, which is why freeze dried stuff tends to last so long. So then the other enemy that we have becomes oxygen. Tossing a few of these bad boys in will help preserve the PSL all year round. Now speaking of moisture, let's talk about that failed original batch I made with the fresh pumpkin. After the freeze drying cycle was complete, I left the tray in the freeze dryer and couldn't get back to it for a day. It had been really humid in DC due to storms, so the moisture in the air just got soaked up into the first batch. And this is what I ended up with, and you can see how gooey it looks here. This isn't really what we're going for here, so make sure that you don't leave your nicely freeze dried stuff out in humidity for extended periods of time, or it'll undo all of the hard work that you've done. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I hope to make another cool and fun video soon. All right, see you guys next week. Bye.